I am blessed and highly favored. I am amazing. I am strong. I, I am real. real. It's no secret that sports reign supreme in the black community. From a young age, boys join youth football leagues in hopes of one day going pro. But it is reported that college football players only have a 1.6% chance of making it to the NFL. When your whole life is molded around attaining a certain goal, it can be difficult to figure out what to do next. So my first year in high school, I played varsity and played uh, running back. And that was when I was like all into like, I know I'm going pro. Like you couldn't tell me I wasn't going pro or that I wasn't going to college so that my family could watch me play on a big screen. Um, and then my freshman year in high school was the same year where I got injured for the first time. Yeah, I cracked my collarbone and like the dynamics completely changed. Before the injury, it was like I was just, just the center of the coach's eye, like this freshman running back who was talented and skilled. And after the injury, a light bulb just clicked. It was like, man, you could be replaced at any second. Mentally, I felt defeated and I felt like part of my identity was removed because part of my identity was through football. You know, and a couple of people in my family didn't take it too well because I'm the youngest male. And so I was the last one that everybody got their eye on. And especially like growing up, being talented and playing sports, playing multiple sports, like everybody was like, oh yeah, he's going pro one way or the other. And so when that plan changed for me, but everybody else had like a vested interest in that, it was kind of like I let them down. Um, but after the injury, I just started to really focus on my academics because I knew for a fact that I had to get an academic scholarship. Like this is a priority. Don't play with it. Yeah, I started to like engage more with my teachers and like go see them more and um, raise my hand more, participate more. I used to always, every day after football season, just got like, just let me get accepted to somewhere and I'll do the rest. I applied to like five like top Florida schools and then UM, University of Miami was the only one that accepted me. And so that was like major for me. Like I was more proud of the fact that I'm going to UM based, based off of my own merit, based off of my own brain power. And like I literally, for me, I felt like I made history, not only for my family, being the first male to go to college, um, but being accepted into like a PWI. Nobody in my family had to pay a dime. And I got four years of education at UM. What I plan to do after getting my master's is uh working with student athletes specifically, doing career and professional development. Um, and what I mean by that is making sure that as black and brown men, you understand the power of what you do on the field, but also take agency to set yourself up for success beyond the field. Because of my experience and my understanding of how that dream can be quickly changed by injury, you know, no matter what it is, I just want to make sure student athletes understand that you have to prepare yourself for success beyond sports, even while you're playing sports. Everything that I learned on the field in terms of like your work ethic, you got to be diligent. You have to have a diligent work ethic in the classroom. I've transferred it right over. So when it comes to assignments, I'm going to give you the, everything I got. And so instead of running sprints and lifting weights, well, now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to this paper about to be the state championship paper because this one you're going to get some good quality paper and I'm going to do my research because I want everything with my name attached to it to be good quality just like I did in sports you know the, the impact of sports is so powerful and that's why it's a billion dollar industry you know but it can, it can mistreat you and destroy you but if you understand it and you have a certain perspective on life you can use sport to do anything you want in this world and luckily for me it played out your boy is a scholar ma so if you're watching this Okay, I'm a scholar now. I am a living example that regardless of your circumstances, you get to choose what the final circumstance will be. And through that, you'll continue to figure out this game called life. And you, no matter what, how the game goes, win, lose, or draw, you give it all you got until the final whistle blows. And then you check the scoreboard to see who won. My name is Brian Malcolm, and this is my story. I am my own God placed here on this earth to positively spread light. I'm still figuring out this game called life, but I'll give it all I've got until the last whistle blows.